Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Denny. I just wanted to say hi. I know you've been doing a lot of reading for the past couple weeks, and to balance that out, I wanted to create this video. What we're gonna go over is the 10 steps for writing a research paper, since as you already know, your next assignment the next couple weeks is going to be writing a research paper about religion and geography in Asia specifically. Number one, get familiar with the assignment. As you already know, our topic generally is religion and geography slash the environment research paper with a focus on Asia. So you've answered some anticipatory questions regarding what's your religion and how do you see geography in it just to get you thinking about this topic. And I will be providing you more thorough explanations throughout the week so you can get even more familiar with this particular assignment. The second step, which is what you should have done yesterday, is pick a topic. So I just mentioned the general topic was religion and geography slash the environment. But you want to get a little more specific with your research paper. And ways in which you can think of a topic is by asking some questions beforehand. Like, how is whatever religion, Buddhism, Christianity, whatever you chose, influenced by geography? If you chose Shinto religion, maybe it's the way Shinto is influenced by Japan's geography. Here's another question you can ask yourself. How is the environment seen in Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, etc.? And then your answer to that question is your topic for your research paper. So perhaps your topic for your research paper is examples of the environment in Buddhism. So yesterday I asked you to choose a religion to focus on in your paper. And you might find it difficult to relate geography or the environment to that specific religion. So if you haven't been able to find anything online already, then your topic may change and that's okay. Um, but I think we can find a little bit of geography in each religion. So I'll be here to help you um, refine and choose your topic. Third step is going to be gather research. While you're gathering research, you don't wanna read every single word of every single source that you come across. And I'm gonna give you guidance throughout the research pro process, don't worry. But just to let you know, and generally, when you're researching, you can skim your sources. You need to find reliable sources. You can start at Wikipedia, but you can't end there and cite it in your paper. Um, Wikipedia can help you find key terms to research later, but ultimately Wikipedia will not be a good or reliable source to cite within your paper. And I will show you the LAUSD Digital Library. It's an online library that the school district provides. We'll have some practice using that in the next couple weeks. After researching and gathering all these different websites that are super useful in helping explain your topic, you're going to want to organize the research so that you can have cohesive themes to refer to in your paper. Next up would be forming a thesis. So before getting into your thesis statement or arguable claim, you want to just ask yourself, what is my paper about? Start there. My paper is about the Hindu religion and how it's influenced by the natural features of the world. Okay, now let's get a little more specific in your thesis. Here's a more specific thesis. The Hindu religion is highly influenced by natural features of the world, which can be seen in its teachings about the Pancha Mahabhutas, Dharma, and the gods that sometimes take animal form. You see three clear subjects within this topic, and those three uh, subjects, Panchakarma, Dharma, and the gods, can serve as your body paragraphs later on in your research paper. Number six, create an outline. The first paragraph that you will write is the introduction paragraph. And within that, you'll have your thesis. As I mentioned in the previous slide, your thesis has three main ideas usually. Those three main ideas will serve as the topic sentences and main focus of each body paragraph. Then you'll write a conclusion and you'll end with a bibliography. The bibliography is where you write all of the sources that you use to write this research paper. Then you will write the research paper. 
and you'll probably have to write a couple drafts, but at least get your ideas down so you can start editing. The first thing you'll edit for is content. This means the substance or the main ideas that you're presenting in the essay need to make sense with your thesis, with the topic, and with the assignment. Remember, you're proving a relationship between religion and geography or the environment. So while you're editing for content, you're making sure all the ideas that you present still align with this main focus. After you've made sure all your ideas are clear, that these ideas support your thesis, and that your thesis somehow proves a relationship between religion and geography, you're gonna edit your research paper for grammar mistakes and spelling mistakes. You'll be doing this through peer editing and with my feedback also. After you've made all of your edits, you've peer reviewed, you've revised on your own, you've had someone else, parent, friend, family member, look at your essay, and Ms. Denny looked at your essay, you're ready to submit your final draft. I'm so excited to see what you guys produce. I know that it's um, gonna be somewhat of a challenge with the online learning, but I'm confident that you'll be able to accomplish this in the next couple weeks. And here's an example of me citing my sources, except not as professionally or academically as I expect you to. I found some of these ideas from Google and specifically this link uh, 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 um, bestschools.org, how to write a research paper, help me make this video. If you want to see more details on what they suggest, it is a pretty good recommendation. Um, so check it out.